My name is John Arian Davis. I'm an auctioneer in Chatter Surveyor, also a part-time farmer. We live at Cloindren Capel Isaac, which is a 30-odd acre holding, and on the holding we breed pedigree sheep and limb cattle. Flock was established over a period of time from about 1998 to 2002 on an informal basis and then on a more formal basis from about 2005 to the present day. What breeds do you have here? Just pedigree Texel sheep. And why that particular breed? Following on from interest of my father at home, where they started keeping pedigree Texels in about 1986. Tell me about the system that you have here. The lambs are born in the middle of February. They're weaned at 12 weeks in the middle of May. They are then fed intensively for sale in August stroke September. We also sell a few lambs in September and a bunch of in-lamb yearling ewes in November. How does the Animax bolus fit into that system? Basically, the, the lambs are fed intensively from day one. So the bolus is important, especially the, the bolusing in May, prior to ter- turning to a crop of Typhon, to avoid the problems associated with intensive concentrate feeding, especially with oil seeds, tying up trace elements, which the lambs would normally be getting from the uh, swords, and making sure that then the lambs avoid trace element or nutrient-rich diet deficiencies as a result of the feeding system. You bolus the sheep with Animax boluses. Why did you start doing that? Certain ram lambs were developing white muscle disease and the boluses obviously immediately sorted that out, plus uh, provided the lambs with the trace element requirements that they needed as a result of the quite intensive feeding regime prior to sales. The ball has provided the lambs with a long-acting type of trace element boost initially and then sorted their trace element requirements out from then on. And what differences have you noticed in the overall health of the flock? Well, not only health, but growth rates, scanning performance in terms of eye muscle and back fat and general uh, appearance. And have you noticed any differences with the fertility of the flock? The flock has been fortunate in having good conception rates for AI, but um, I suppose that is boosted by the fact that the trace element requirements of the flock have been sorted by the use of the boluses. And what about the growth rates of the sheep? The first year we used boluses, we produced a lamb that was 73 kilos at 21 weeks, which was in the top 3% of the breed, and uh, was later sold for the flock record price. So uh, it had an immediate impact. You must have been delighted with that. Uh, Delighted because it went to one of the best flocks in the country as well. So, um, yeah, quite proud. When do you bolus? Uh, we bolus on weaning uh, in about May stroke June and prior to turning to a uh, crop of typhon. It's quite obvious looking at the flock that the boluses are working. They look fantastic, the sheep. Will you continue to use the boluses? Oh, yeah, very much so. And um, maybe even to the extent that we bolus the mature flock more often than uh, the pre-tupping bolus that they have now. Uh, we'd probably do them in the spring as well.